Hey, how's it going? John Dorsey here with WorkWithJohnD.net. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to clean your email list because over time, you'll if you're building an email list, over time, you'll find that a lot of people put in fake emails, they'll put in a junk email, they'll put in an email address that really doesn't go anywhere or it's going through their inbox and after over time of them not opening an email, it's ended up going to straight to spam or they're just pretty much ignoring your emails. So a general rule of thumb is if a person hasn't opened your email in the past six months, then it's probably safe to delete them. Because if they haven't opened your email in six months, chances are they aren't going to open it in the next week, month, two months, three months. Basically, they're not interested. So there's no point of keeping them on your list because they're just taking up space. If you're with, like, like if you work for an email provider that you got to pay for as you increase your numbers, let me close this. As your email list grows, you pay more. So basically, you want to keep your email list clean. Uh, a lot of people get stuck on the the fact that they have they want they're looking for that big number. I got 10,000 emails. I got 10,000 uh people on my email list. 20,000, 50,000. Really, the number doesn't matter. You have a million people on your email list. What matters is how many of those people are engaged. I'd rather have a list of a thousand people where a hundred percent of them are engaged, which is unrealistic. But I would have a, a, I'd rather have an email list of a thousand people where at least fifty percent of them are engaged, opening emails, clicking on links, than having a list of a hundred thousand people where only one percent are engaged. So, with that being said, let's go to. So I use Aweber, and uh, so basically you just go to any list. You know you got this. You, know, you might have many lists. Well, we're gonna go with this one. So you click on subscribe subscribers or manage subscribers. You go one, and so your email provider, of course, will be different. But basically, you want to look for. Uh, no opens. Click on no opens, and it'll say since. So this is September, it's September 1st, 2018, right now. So you just take whatever today's date is for you, and go back six months. And then to be sure that you're, so, you know, you're, you're you're directing, you're selecting the right people, you want to go to date added, and you want to put the date. The date is the date that was added to your list. You want that to be before. Oops, you want that to be before the date that you're trying to clean out. Because you don't want to have people that maybe just got on your list two days ago to end up on this no opens. So you do a search. So as you see, this uh, this email segment is already clean and I think it was 48 people on this list we're gonna skip that fat weight loss one let's go to this one <clears throat> all right so yeah I think it's very very important you know keep your email list clean it'll save you money and it'll make you more it'll increase your open rate it'll increase your delivery rate because you're sending out so many emails, and over time those aren't even getting delivered how they should. Because a lot of those are undeliverable; they're getting kicked back. All right, and then date added. search all right so 29 people fall under this um, filter so as you see May 17 2016 this person has opened an email in almost two years so you see what I'm saying that you know you got people that are just taking up space I mean really if this person has opened an email 
in that long, and they've been on my list that long, chances are they aren't going to do, they aren't taking action, they don't have, this is a junk email where they're not paying attention to this email address. So, you select all, and then, let me do this first, so we don't have to do multiple pages. All right. So you select all, and then you want to unsubscribe all these people first. Unsubscribe, and then you do is click, is click delete, and they off your list. And if they, if they just so happen to run across your offer again, and they resubscribe, they can. But chances are they weren't interested in your offer, so might as well finish cleaning out the people who already unsubscribed. And the undeliverables. So no undeliverables. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is how it works with Aweber. It might be a little different with your email provider, uh, but it can be done and it should be done on a regular basis. I recommend every three months doing this, but it just depends on how big your list is, or you know, it's up to you. You can do it every month. You can do it every two months. Every three months. You can do it every week, but uh, I probably about every three months is when I do it. You know, go through the my email and clean every clean out all the the dead the dead weight. So yeah, that's it. If you got some value out of this video, like it, share it, uh, comment, and also subscribe to my channel to get more tips and little things like this on how to run your business business efficiently. And if you want to connect with me, see what I'm involved in. Uh, click the link below this video. It'll take you to a program that I use to basically combine all the all these different tools and programs online to make one big uh, coherent and one big smooth and flowing, <laughs> very smooth flowing business system. So that's it. If you guys have video, like I said, like and share it and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.